Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting Gamer here with Scar's Rentier Outpost. Taking a look at our work in our prior episodes where we built our sawmill. Look at how beautiful that looks, but it is time now to terraform the land and to make this whole area our logging, you know, expansion, build up our mountains, rivers, waterfalls, and trees. And we got a really cool tree design. We're gonna build stumps because it's a logging mill. There's gonna be stumps everywhere. So stumps for days. But thank you to all of you for helping me decide on how the river was going to flow. So we had a bit of a design dilemma and that was how do we create a river out of nothing? There's no real source to it. So what we've decided throughout the comments so thank you like I said for all the suggestions is a bubbling kind of spring in this area and the river is gonna flow out of it now another thing you guys had suggested was a geyser now I tried a couple geyser designs but I couldn't make a really nice one if you got amazing geyser designs send it to me on Twitter I'd love to take a look at it um, so we're gonna build up some rock and some things of that nature and it's going to be a little bubbling spring like I said and it'll flow down this way and it'll kind of divert itself over to the water wheel so we got the water wheel right there it's gonna be kicking up some you know some green moss and stuff so we'll decorate this wall and the suggestion you had was to add vines and things of that nature up here so I think that'll look really cool and then flow down kind of a mini waterfall and then right down to a big waterfall right there and I think that's going to be really 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 cool so I've got my inventory primed and ready so we got all the necessary materials so what I'm going to start with is just getting started with some basic shapes so first thing we're going to do is kind of build up a little bit where the waterfall is going to flow and then over here it's going to be more of a gentle slope downwards and yeah so let me start getting busy with this and something I wanted to show you guys was of course the good Ren Diggity Dogs base now if you remember we made an absolutely amazing episode here a few months back where we terraformed all of these beautiful hills and added all of these trees but one section we didn't get done in the episode was the back section here as you can see from the tractor all the way down there's a waterfall and all of that I've been working on that off camera and of course on twitch and I can finally say the Ren Dogs project is now fully complete this entire area is now surrounded by the lush national park here and I'm very 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 happy to see it all complete also Tango's back section of his house is also complete. And yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was so much work, but I am so excited to finally have it done and to see this all come to be. I think it came out really, really nice. And of course, this little section over by Tango's where it's a little more stone because that's something he had asked for. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And uh, to see it complete, uh, hopefully uh, Red Dog is as happy as I am. But let's take a look at our waterfall. So. I know this doesn't look like much, but I think it's a good start to kind of vision kind of where the water will flow and things of that nature. Let me pull out a little stone. There we go. So what this is, this is just giving us an opportunity to find places to put the stone down. This is a really good way of like trying to figure out little bits of terraforming without really getting too wild um, by just running down a little bit of dirt like this. It kind of gives you a good idea of kind of where the particular designs are going to go. And then from there, you can kind of decide, you know, am I going to put the stone on top of the dirt or am I going to replace the dirt? And you can just use that as a little bit of a base. And I think that's going to look cool. So the waterfall is going to flow down here and then into the bigger kind of river through here and then down this spot this couldn't be any better of a location for a waterfall like this little spot is just totally made for a waterfall look at that <laughs> that's things amazing so let me continue to work on this so as you remember I showed you just kind of cutting these pieces out and just kind of forming up a bit of a waterfall of course waterfalls usually form of course around a lot of rock and stuff along those lines so that's what I'll finish this up with taking a quick stop at my neglected tool forge here in the brown market district I want to go in and check the stock because we have not been here in a very long time and I don't know what is in stock, what is not in stock. All right, there we go, guys. We got some diamonds here. So we're out of Silk Touch efficiency picks. Oh, we're out of another thing. Look at that, 13 diamonds, pretty good. So work pick efficiency fives. Okay, so we definitely need to restock there. Oh, we don't have anything in there. Oh boy. Oh, this isn't good, but 43 diamonds. This is so profitable. Um, what is this? Okay, okay, that's decent. Um, how are we doing over here? Okay, those are still good. Those are still good. 
Oh man, we're gonna have to find some mending books because no one is selling mending books currently on the server and uh, that's kind of an essential part of our build here. So we either have to get to our own villagers or we're going to have to figure something out. But look at that, 64, oh, whoa, one more. <laughs> look at that, a stack and 11, I absolutely love it. So we gotta restock this place back up and maybe adjust a few prices. But look at all those shiny diamonds. We've got a wild tango and a wild impulse flying throughout the base. I have my weapons armed this time. My anti-air gun is ready. <laughs> I don't see them. They're not making it. They're not making another run past. Darn it. <laughs> Finally, wait. Oh, there's that flower from the previous episode. <laughs> I've been looking for that thing. I have been looking for that flower who is unauthorized in this area. <laughs> I can't get the flower. I want to burn the flower. Wow, this lag is so bad today, I can't even get an arrow across there. <laughs> All right, welcome back. And as you can see, we've got ourselves a beautiful river layout. I'm just absolutely loving it. Now, I was kind of going a little crazy and I came up with something. So, you know those pools in Yellowstone? They're the, you know, those rainbow colored beautiful pools that slightly look refreshing. There's a turquoise pool there that looks like something you want to swim through, but I highly re recommend you not do that because it's made out of acids and boiling waters, which is just not a great and refreshing thing at all, but gives off the impression and sometimes people do actually go in those. So that's not a good thing, not a good thing at all. So. I want to make one of those and I know you're being like Scar that's gonna look awful in Minecraft it probably will but I'm gonna give it a shot and I think it'll go better with the design that we're trying to come up with so the basic premise of this entire thing is that it kind of starts out a rainbow so along the edges here it's kind of a dark red and then as you get a little closer it becomes a little orange and a little bit of yellow and then down in the pool it's very turquoise very green and it's just like the most beautiful thing ever so do you guys want me to try to make one of these things? <laughs> it might look super duper ugly in Minecraft, but I want to give it a try. I really want to try this and just see if this could be something that might actually look cool. Um, I love Yellowstone. Have you guys ever been to Yellowstone? Uh, I, oh man, I absolutely love Yellowstone. I've been there twice. Um, the second time was the time we saw a lot of these pools and uh, we went to quite a few of them. Now I know there's this giant, giant one. I think it's something I, I forgot the exact name of it, um, but I highly encourage you guys, if you don't know what these look like, just search them up, search Yellowstone pools and you'll see these just stunning, stunning like uh, colors. And they're very, very beautiful. There's one particular that's my favorite. It's just all turquoise. That's the one I was like, this looks refreshing, but it's so deceiving. It's a it's a sneaky, deceiving thing. And it's not. It's, it's steaming acid and it's not not a happy thing. But it's so absolutely beautiful. And I have a really fun picture of it um, that actually it looks pretty good. I actually framed it and gave it to my and years ago, years ago when I was first learning photography, she still has it up in her house, which I always think is kind of neat. Um, because it was one of my very first pictures, which isn't like super great. Okay, so that's the general outline of it. So then what we can do is start to mix in maybe just a little bit here and there of some orange. Now I'm considering, because I don't want to go down three levels, if I just stick in maybe a little yellow along the edges like this, and then in the interior, maybe that's where we do um, hmm, maybe, I don't know, what if? Got another idea, but this, this I think this will work. If, if not, I'll just take the red, move it up one more layer, and then we'll still have this layer down here be the orange and the turquoise. So I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay, but the lag is just ridiculous right now. Um, we don't even have the mumbo anymore. <laughs> we don't even have the mumbo and it's still very laggy. The server just might just plain need a reset, I think at this point. Oh, wait, I totally did that wrong. <laughs> totally did that wrong. There we go, beautiful. Oh, nope, still did it wrong. Scar. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you guys can kind of see this general idea that I'm trying to achieve and then build up the edges very rocky. Now, I was considering using because along the edges, it's very white, it's very stark. It's kind of this kind of grungy whitish color that this stuff kind of gives off after it's, you know, been like, you know, thawed out, if you will, or, you know, steamed off or whatever. So I was considering using a little bit of the end stone along the edges. I know, I know, this is probably gonna be ugly, but you know what, sometimes you just gotta take those crazy ideas try them out, see what they, you know, come to be. Maybe it'll be something you've never thought of and it'll be absolutely amazing or it's something ugly, 
but at least you tried. And I'm gonna give this a little bit more of a shot here. I don't know about this liner across the edges, but like looking at some Yellowstone pictures, it definitely has this very kind of like white stuff on the edges, um, but just maybe we need a different block. But I think once we get in here and we start adding some of these colors in the center, oh, oh, oh I think we're gonna get where we're trying to get and it's gonna be amazing. Such an absolute beautiful sunrise over the death of a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was way off on that one. There we go. The lag finishes them off. We have so much progress. Now, this doesn't look super great, but the structure of our river is nearly complete, which I'm super happy about. And there it is our Yellowstone inspired pool. <laughs> I can't decide. Is this hype? or is this fail? I'm gonna put my uh, Twitch emoticons on the screen and you choose, you put them in the chat, hype or fail? <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it for now. I wanna get your guys' opinion, but for this episode, I wanna keep it and I wanna show you a reason why. So let me give you a little bit of a far off perspective here. I love the contrast and the just the, whole nature of the color palette that this provides the area I think just has this I don't know what it is it's just something about it just feels right and I don't know what I still cannot decide if I made the world's most ugly thing in Minecraft or if I made something beautiful that kind of makes sense within the area now as you can see the depth of this is only one block and that's because of course we're hollow down at the bottom and uh, yeah so yeah, I don't know. This is like a little, you know, spring pool, but with a little Yellowstone inspired design to it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't I can't decide. Like, I'm just envisioning you guys like either loving this or hating this. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to keep it for this episode because I think it can be cool. Uh, I'm I'm so excited to hear what you guys think of this thing because this is so out of like what what's that baseball expression out of middle field or something right field left field left field um, because you know originally like I said before I was just gonna make some rock and it was gonna be amazing um, but I decided to get a little crazy and then I realized I've actually made one of these before <laughs> which was the one of the odder things about the whole thing. And there we go, we got ourselves a little waterfall flowing down and like I was saying before, I don't think it's too far-fetched at this point in my uh, Minecraft building career, if you will, to think that, you know, and I'll probably repeat a build like that and not even at all remember it. I've been playing Minecraft since 2010, so it's been a while, guys. It's been a while, so actually, I don't want this. No, don't get close, guys. Don't get close. <laughs> I don't want this actually to start flowing down there yet because I want to do that a little bit later. I really want to plan out that waterfall um, so that it does look really nice, and I don't want to have any pre mature waterfalls over there yet because I don't want anybody flying over here and being like oh scar scar can't even make a waterfall <laughs> that's the thing about uh, being on a server and stuff along those lines is I hate having unfinished projects because I don't want anybody flying over and like thinking poorly of me so I'm always like I hate having unfinished projects going so that's why this whole thing is just driven me crazy because it's like I want to finish this thing get this all done but I think we're doing pretty good guys I think we're doing good we uh, have some unexpected build appeared and uh, I can't wait to hear your uh, thoughts on that, but it is time to really kind of get down and dirty. Let's get in the time lapse mode, bring up super fast build mode, and let's start terraforming this whole area. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to see this area all finished up. So hit it. <laughs>
super fast build mode and there is our beautiful sawmill on a hill along with our yellowstone inspired pool of you know scary stuff that we don't want to touch but it looks absolutely beautiful so let's kind of take another peek at it as we fly over looking absolutely stunning especially with all of the trees and all of those details which took a very very long time and i wasn't able to do as much on camera work today as i would have liked uh, just wasn't feeling quite you know up to it a little bit but i hope you guys understand and Maybe the final product makes up for that. Look at this incredible stone and hills, plants hanging over it. Little waterfall leading to the big waterfall down there. Now on the little waterfall here, I would definitely want to make its pool a little bit deeper and maybe add some mossy cobble and things along those lines that I don't actually have back in these corners I think would would look really, really cool. Maybe just a little bit more green in the air. What's that over there? Is that a cat? It is at the waterfall cat. <laughs> it's a waterfall cat back there. D don't don't pay no attention to the waterfall cat. Let's work our way over here. And one thing as I'm climbing the hill just came to me that I think we forgot to do. And that is stumps. I made a big deal about stumps in the beginning of this episode. So I got to add some tree stumps because I made a big deal of that. And there are no stumps. Cats, get out of there. That's dangerous. <laughs> so here is our Yellowstone inspired pool. I think it's a fun different thing you can't always do the same thing and that's why i wanted to try to go out of the block and come up with a new idea and here it is what do you guys think i'm gonna let you guys be the deciding factor on it but i love it and uh, i'm gonna keep it for a little bit but i do want to get your guys' opinions on it of course and look at this guys i think it came out really really nice the whole landscaping the trees now we've got to incorporate a little bit more of a logging nature to the build we need to add some stumps and some interior designs of course for the mill i'm going to build a little tiny bridge that connects here or yeah i think it's going to be over here just a small little bridge that goes over there we're going to do that on twitch but other than that i think this came out really really well today and now sets us up once again to start working on another project and that is the depot so the depot is going to go right in this area right here we're going to have beautiful cranes putting, you know, logs and ores from the mines onto flatbed cars for our trains. And I think that's going to look really, really fun and give this area a whole new kind of life to it. Now, that leads me to the giant jelly. Because you guys are super awesome Scar Squad members, you stay to the end of the video and you get to decide on what we do with the giant jelly. So here it is. I need you guys to tell me. Do we keep the giant jelly so that we can build the train depot or do we somehow figure out how to keep it in place and just have it for the rest of the season? You have to please let me know what to do. So keep or get rid of keep or get rid of in the comments if this is something that we want to get rid of. I love that giant jelly, but also I need that space for the depot. But maybe we can come up with a compromise in the middle and maybe take the giant jelly and maybe place it somewhere else. Maybe we could come up with an idea together of something that we can do elsewhere and have Foss rebuild it for us. Maybe. It's definitely a possibility. Um, so I want to get your guys' opinion on that. And yeah, so until next time. This has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be very much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.